Hello, this is Mark, marktps.com. I'm going to do a quick tour of 4735S, win, or South Winter Circles. Uh, this is number C. They come in sort of a group of units. Uh, this one is three bedrooms, two baths, 1,348 square feet, and it is listed for 530,000. Now, this unit is going to be along the side where we have Gene Autry, and they have a lot of nice greenery between here, and it also gives you the lovely view to the west. You can hear a little of the traffic noise, as it is behind us and um, the way this is set up is you have sort of this nice green space here that's at the uh, between the two qua two unit groups so it's very private on this end and then you have a walkway that goes through also i will mention that uh, these units are built around the central parking area so that's really kind of a nice thing as well and as we walk in you're going to get this great um, little interior courtyard which is really lovely. And so this is, uh, it's the afternoon, you're not getting direct sun, which is really, really nice. Okay, so I've stepped into the living room side. We're looking back at the courtyard and this will give you a little perspective of where this is located. And then there's some nice big sliding doors here. I'm not actually at the front door. I'm at the sliding doors that go onto the living room. And this is a vast space, honestly. It's really, it's really nice and large. And then there are some replaced or brand new doors on that side, which helps with, uh, some of the sound. So again, there's a busy street over here, but that is, uh, you know, it's a thing. It's not a bad thing or a good thing. It just happens to be a thing. Great Western views and a big, big side area. You could, I've seen units, I think, I almost want to say I've seen a pool in here. I'm not sure if you can do that or not. You can definitely make that into more of a green space if you'd wish. Uh, as you come around, you're going to see that this is just an ample size room. There's you could have dining. They've created a island dining area, so there's not really a dining room in here, but you could have a dining room in between your living room with the fireplace and the main area. Uh, the nice little inset with a uh, little counter space. And then we have the kitchen. Um, you know, it's an older kitchen, but uh, it's in beautiful shape. If you wanted to redo those doors, the cabinetry is all in a really good location, so I think that would work. Uh, nice thing about Windows that look west is when you're doing the lawn or doing the dishes, you get to look out, which I'm a fan. I do end up doing dishes myself sometimes. Uh, the island has a lot of storage in it, which is great. You're also going to see that the large solid door, that is the front door. And then uh, we're going to have the first of the three bedrooms here. So this one um, is very basic, <laughs> but it's a good room. Like this would make a terrific office, especially since it's looking directly out onto the patio and then there's the front patio and those are the doors where I started on the inside going over to the living room. These double doors could open up which will make it sort of a nice size so that works out just fine. As I come and look down the hallway we're going to come towards the other two bedrooms in this unit. There's the one that's going to be west facing. Um, great views. This is going to be against the side that has the street, so you will get a little bit of street noise in here. Um, these double paned windows really look like they do a nice job, and I can hear they do a nice job of zapping out a lot of the sound. There's me, Mark, markgps.com, if you have questions about real estate. And I do want to say thank you to James Gerson, who has allowed me to get in here and uh, take a video of this because it's so helpful so that you can figure out if you're going to come to town <laughs> and take a look. Uh, all right, so next up is going down the hallway to see the final bedroom, and then the door at the end there is going to the two-car garage. These have really nice, large garage spaces. So left is another bedroom. Uh, there is an area outside that can be... You can talk, work with the HOA to have something planted out there. Uh, you just have to go through the committee. And these are nice-sized rooms. Uh, the walls have some things that are attached to it, but everything really does look like it's in... Good shape, just needs probably some paint. And then down the hallway is the shared bath. So the front bedroom that I said would probably work well as an office would come down here to use this bathroom, as would the person who is using the bedroom that we just visited. All right, I'm gonna head outside to the side patio and we'll end up there. Okay, I have stepped outside and what we've got is a really beautiful view. We are relatively close to the road, so you're going to hear the road noise. There's not much you can do about that. A nice water feature here would do wonders. 
Uh, you can see next door they put in some trees. So there's a lot of opportunity for making this into quite a neat paradise back here. It's all one story, which of course is very convenient. And I think that is about it. So again, this is Mark, markgps.com. If you've got questions about real estate in the desert, happy to help out.